I am Dr. Sridhar. Welcome to my channel. I hope you are enjoying the videos uh, that have been shared so far. I have a request. Please do subscribe to the channel as your subscribing motivates me. And uh, please do like and comment on the videos as possible. Hi. Uh, continuing the MCQ series, this is about stool pattern in a week old baby. What is the correct statement related to watery stools in a newborn baby around one week of age? So the choice is, this is the expected pattern as the milk starts increasing and there is physiologic lactose intolerance. Second point, we need to test the stools for reducing substance uh, to look for lactose intolerance. The third choice, we need to stop breastfeeding and start lactose free milk. And fourth point, if there is associated excess crying and colic, it could be milk allergy. So there is only one choice which is correct and please uh, have a think. So the correct answer is A. Uh, as the milk starts increasing by the end of the first week, the baby starts uh, getting the excess load of lactose. The lactase enzyme which digests the lactose load is a little deficient in the newborn period and it uh, up, up, upgrades, upregulates itself and starts increasing after the first few days according to the rate of milk increase. Suppose you challenge the baby with a high load in the first one or two days with formula, again the baby will have the same pattern. They have uh, gassiness, they have fussiness, crying and loose tools and nappy rash tends to be more in these babies. But while breastfeeding also this happens because uh, milk load has increased and the lactase enzyme is upregulating. So during that phase you may get frothy stools, uh, baby may pass more gas and there is bubbles in the stool. Of course there is a mild lactose intolerance but this is physiologic lactose intolerance. You just teach the mother to regulate the spacing between the feeds. The less frequent the feeds if possible, the less frequent the stool frequency because it's related to the gastrocolic reflex as well. We shouldn't do lactose, uh, the stool reducing substance. It's a very abuse test. It doesn't have any meaning. As I said, we do expect lactose intolerance. So what are you looking for? So don't do it in the first place. There is no role for lactose free milk in this situation. Breastfeeding is the best. Don't do anything that will disrupt the regular breastfeeding for the baby. Please, please don't stop breastfeeding or start any formula thinking it will help because that will only worsen the situation. It's transient. It will improve. Just uh, teach the mother to uh, wait a little more between feeds if possible and uh, obviously going with demand feeding but spacing as possible and also not to overfeed the baby. Reducing the intake a little bit if the weight gain is good will help the situation. Uh, colic is very normal in babies and it's not well defined. If the baby is crying excessively, uh, again you have to uh, look at the feed pattern not to overfeed and so on and reassure the mother that this is a normal thing which settles with time but don't change the milk or uh, anything else. Milk allergy usually presents a little later and you tend to have blood spotting in the stool or other clear features. Uh, if it's very severe symptoms you sometimes do a trial but that's a very small number of babies so not the routine. Uh, I hope this information is useful and please do share your thoughts in the comments. Do like the video and do subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so.